Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here. Welcome to my 100% full game walkthrough for Neon Junctions. Sorry about being a little bit inactive lately. There have been some things uh, kind of getting in the way of videos, but we're back into the swing of things. And I'm also going to E3. If you'd like to see my adventures there, follow me on Twitter. Neon Junctions. You'll be able to complete this game in about 30 to 40 to 50 minutes. And it's pretty easy. It's a first person puzzle game. If at any point the on screen action is too fast for you, feel free to run the video at 75% speed or 50% speed on the default browser for YouTube. Now we're just going to start off with a new game. Feel free to go into your settings, change your brightness, and this is one of the few Radalika games that does actually support an inverted axis for those players who want it. Do the tutorial, you'll learn to use the bumpers to pick up and drop cubes. You can also jump at the very beginning of the walkthrough you did see me jump off the map there is an achievement for dying one time so i made sure to just grab that right out of the gate you will see all the other achievements unlock on screen basically what you do in this game is you use cubes to connect a circuit in order to power the exit to turn red and as soon as that happens you can basically exit out of the level so use your bumpers in the first level here to pick up the cubes and then connect the red circuit with the blue in order to you know complete it and once the exit turns red you just walk right on out to the end of the level so in total this game has i believe 35 levels we'll need to do including a final level and for the most part most of the achievements or trophies we will be earning along the way will be just based on completing the levels uh, it does offer obviously a thousand gamer score it does offer a platinum trophy this game is by Radalika, so it's going to be $5, and I think it's $1 off in its first week, so it should be around $4 right now. On this next level, what we did was we picked up all the cubes off of the ground, and now we're just basically going to connect the circuit all the way across the map. And once we do that, we can just exit out of the level. I will be offering some tips and tricks for most of the levels here, but I'm not going to be going through each and every single cube, picking up and dropping them as I think that would be a little bit overkill. On this next level, we'll have to teach ourselves the mechanic of building stairs. So grab the four cubes kind of in the middle and you'll be able to build a short little small staircase by putting two cubes next to each other uh, on the wall here and use your jump to get up and then you'll have to build a second staircase to get up to the top where you can pick up another four cubes and then on the way back down what you want to do is make sure you grab the ones you used before you now have enough to complete the entire circuit For this map, basically what you want to do is pull all of the cubes off of one side of the wall. And then what you can do is connect the red all the way across the wall in such a way that you can make a pathway for yourself to walk across. And that'll allow you to get to the end. So what you need to do is make sure everything's connected so all the cubes are red. And also at the very end, there should be a little staircase for you to climb up in order to uh, make it out. And this one's not too bad, but definitely teaches you how to kind of use the walls in creative ways. During the level, you'll also see an achievement unlock, which is for playing a level for three minutes. Basically, before I started recording, I was just sitting and idling and doing something on my computer. So there is an achievement at some point during this game for playing a level for a total of three minutes. We can mop that up at the end, though. In this next level, we'll actually be able to grab two achievements as we complete it. So one of them is going to be for grabbing a total of 99 cubes. And then one of them is going to be for completing a level with at least 49 cubes. So what we want to do is basically stay on the top level and just collect all of the cubes off of the roof area. Notice that when you clear some of the cubes, uh, these holes you can kind of jump through in order to go underneath where you are. So just collect everything and then once you are maxed out just drop through one of the holes which will bring you to basically the exit of the level and then you'll have to clear a couple more cubes and just walk into the exit once you do that you are good to go and you should grab both of those achievements on your way out
This next level is all about optimization. You can run to the far end and notice that these puzzles are not solved as you know perfectly as possible. So you want to do is grab the extra cubes on the wall and make sure the circuit is as short as possible. This will allow you to bring 10 cubes back with you from where we came. And then you can just complete the circuit and finish the level. Uh, this one's not too bad, but optimization is key as we play this game. In the next level here, what we want to do is pick up all 16 of the cubes that are kind of located on the pillars on the outside of the map. Then we want to connect the floor and make sure that the red connection goes all the way through the level and through the little window at the end. And then what we need to do is create two little platforms to jump across some gaps. You'll see that on screen. This level's not too bad, but does kind of introduce a gap crossing, a uh, little bit of a gap crossing mechanic in the game. The next level introduces a new mechanic, which is this kind of purplish pink door, and you can only walk through it when you are carrying no cubes. So we'll walk through it. We'll be able to pick up all of the cubes on the other side, build ourselves a staircase back to where we came from, and then finish off the level. This is another level with that no cube door. This is going to be a very common level. And what we need to do is connect all the way through the level. And the one we're going to be connecting is the one to our left. And it's the closest one to us as we spawn. It's the only one that actually goes through the entire level. Later on, they start breaking up in different ways. So you'll basically just go from door to door, pick up four at a time, keep connecting the same wire till the end. For this next level, it should feel very familiar to you if you played a lot of Portal or if you played the Touring Test or Cube 1 or 2. Basically, what we need to do is just kind of like shoot cubes across certain areas through windows. And uh, this one's not too bad, not too hard. Uh, pretty easy and quite quick. This next level does introduce a new mechanic. We'll take the cubes from the left and go to the right. You'll notice that when you power certain cubes, a door will open. That's sort of a new mechanic. And additionally, inside of that door is the sphere. This sphere can be picked up and then put inside of a power generator in order to power some of the cubes in some of the levels. So we'll need to start doing that in more and more levels as we play the game. For this next level, all you want to do is run around and collect at least 25 cubes. Then what you need to do is locate a power sphere. It'll be located near the upper level on one of the outer corners. And then once you have 25 cubes and you've powered the generator, all you have to do is connect the circuit all the way from the beginning to the end to exit the level.
This next level is not too bad, but ha does have a very specific order to do things in. What you want to do is from the start, you want to make a staircase to get yourself out. After you do that, you want to make sure you grab the two cubes from the staircase with you and go diagonally across to pick up the sphere. You'll need a staircase to exit the sphere area as well, though. Then go across, uh, kind of directly uh, across from you, power the sphere, build another staircase, and power and, uh, you know, complete the circuit, and you are good to go. In this next level, we are introduced to a new mechanic, which are like lifts or elevators that get powered and then move based on the circuit. So you'll have to use that to your advantage to basically grab a whole bunch of cubes through a door, make your way up and around, bring all the cubes with you, and then you can complete the level pretty simply. Another level with a couple of lifts, you'll pick up all of the spare cubes, connect the circuit that you can in order to lift yourself to a new area. From that new area, you should be able to pull a couple of new cubes that were previously out of reach, and then you can bring those back to the beginning of the level in order to complete the long chain of the circuit and finish it off. Next up, a puzzle you've played in other puzzle games for sure. This is basically the staggered elevator puzzle. Uh, from the very beginning, grab the cubes and make sure the circuit is connected next to the generator. And then what we can do is basically use the first lift while we're on it, jump across to the second lift, pull our cube with us, rinse and repeat until we're at the end and we can jump across the final gap. In this level, start off by turning around and pulling the cubes off the wall and open the left door first where you can find the power sphere inside. You'll then want to pull the power sphere into the middle room and drop it, then connect to the right door to exit this area, and then you can finish off the rest of the level pretty easily. In this level, what we want to do is collect approximately 25 to 35 cubes. 
before we drop down two levels and then after we drop down two levels it's pretty simply just building ourselves a little bridge to the exit you don't need to build a perfect bridge if you are if you don't have enough cubes you should be able to find them in the lower area here but you can also space apart your cubes and just jump across them if you prefer so just make your way to the bottom with about 20 to 30 cubes and then build yourself that bridge you need The next level here takes all of 15 seconds but does introduce a new mechanic build yourself a staircase to get out and then you can connect these two kind of diamond pieces to the circuit which will open certain doors for you and once the door is open you can just walk through to the exit you'll notice that each door will have a pattern kind of next to the door to symbolize what you're supposed to open now this next area does require us to have a total of five crystals lit and what we want to do is basically just connect, uh, collect all of the cubes off of the ceiling and connect the five closest crystals that are to the edge. So there's going to be four of them that are three blocks away. And then there is one crystal that is four blocks away that uh, I'll show you which one it is. You'll want to connect those specifically and the door will then open and you'll be able to leave. The next level does kind of evolve on the idea of doors so pick up all of the cubes in the middle there should be eight you can connect them to the door on the left uh, to the crystals on the left that'll open a new door which will allow you to take some new cubes with you once you have those new cubes you can come back and open the middle door and then you can get some more cubes and then you can open the left door and you should then have enough cubes to complete all of the circuits open all of the doors and exit the level. This next level is a tutorial to teach you about the flow of the circuit uh, through certain objects. Basically, just pick up the six left cubes, connect them to the right to finish the circuit, and you are good to move on through the level. Uh, it's not that hard to understand what's going on on the ground if you just stop and take a quick look. Now, this next one can be quite difficult. What you need to do is disconnect uh the end of the circuit by digging into the ground kind of right here and what you need to do is make it in such a way that you can just add one cube and it'll power everything on and once you have everything off you'll have a door that opens over here that we can walk through and then we can place one cube in that location i was showing before to complete the circuit lock us in the room but with the powered exit this next level combines a lot of the things we've been learning about. There are elevators, there are doors that open based on the flow of current, there are certain things we can't pull through certain doors, and the puzzle itself isn't too bad if you kind of know what you're looking for, but you want to connect the beginning to the first elevator, make sure you spit out all of your cubes to go through the no cube door you can now realign the cubes inside into an area that we can pull them through into the main part of the level and then it's just basically using all of the new cubes to finish off everything we need
Next up, we have a level with four different power cores we'll need to grab. So just run forward and go to the left. And just behind all this stuff in this kind of secret room, you can find nine cubes in the ceiling as well as one power core. These power cores are not as uh, user friendly as I thought they would be. They can be really hard to know if you even pick them up properly. But once you've delivered your first one, you can now continue to your second one, which is at the end of this path. Once you have the first two spheres put into the two locations to the right, you will then be able to open the door in the middle. Actually, you can open the door in the middle by using both of the cubes on the left as well. But once inside, you can get your third sphere. And once you have your third sphere and nine cubes, we can build ourselves a small little staircase to the final sphere, bring that sphere down to power up the generator, which allows us to basically exit the level. This next level honestly is a complete mess. It's my least favorite level in the entire game. I would try to talk you through it, but there's no amount of text or no amount of uh, verbal instruction I could give to make this level any easier. I would highly recommend you follow my uh, video step by step. I try to show off everything I've built before I leave an area. But basically you're connecting all of these circuits through the walls but a lot of them you can't tell if they're connected properly until after you go through and you kind of go back and forth so just follow the video exactly and you should be able to make it out All right, we are nearing the end of the game slowly but surely. In this level, you want to pull all of the 14 cubes off of the two sides of the walls and then use them in order to complete both the left and the right circuit, which will open the door. We're also going to be learning a new mechanic in this level, which is basically blocking a door with the cube. So some of the doors are opened via the circuit. Then we can block the doors and then kill the circuit, but still go through the door. So the second door we're going to block with a cube and then we're going to be able to kill the circuit from where we started. And then we'll be able to now jump through the door even though we didn't have everything powered. And then we'll have one strand powered at the end to take us to the exit. This next level is pretty easy. I don't know why it's so late in the game, but pull the 12 cubes from the middle. And then what you want to do is align the crystals here with the circuit. So you're basically making these L shapes on the platforms. And then you'll be able to pull, uh, go forward into the like generator room, connect the generator with the rest of the circuit. This will open a door to go around behind and kill the connections we made before. And we can basically then just walk up and finish the level by completing the circuit on the ground. All right, in this level, we'll go forward and turn left, turn left again into a room to find a couple of cubes. We can then use these cubes to power an elevator lift to bring us up to a new platform. Once we're there, there's a room on our left with a couple more cubes. 
we can now run across the gap using the platforms. Once we make it our cross, look to the left and kill the circuit through the window. Then what we want to do is build ourselves a small bridge. If you use every other block, you can just simply run across them. So that can speed up your time if you want. Kill the circuit and then run across the bridge again. And then you should be able to just finish off the level. For this next level, there is a lot of door manipulation. And what I mean by that is you'll use cubes to open up doors. Then you will jam the doors and kill the circuits, but leaving the doors open. And you kind of have to juggle cubes between rooms a lot. Uh, but the level itself isn't too long. So just follow along with the video and you should be able to make it through. And we are nearing the end of the game. This is actually one of my favorite levels in the game. It has a ton of little platforms and it looks really complicated, but the solution is really simple. From the beginning, you wanna just jump out uh, across the platforms, pick up eight cubes, and what you need to do is align the two elevators closest to the exit. One needs to be fully erect, and the other one needs to be almost erect. And what you need to do is make sure you spit out all four of your cubes. Just make sure one of them doesn't connect perfectly with the elevator, but keep it close enough that you can pick it up when you need it later. Then what we can do is disconnect this elevator lift and then connect it back up for, a, for it to bring us back to the beginning of the level. Follow all of the elevators back to where we basically were setting ourselves up and you should be able to now exit the level by looking down erecting that tall elevator, bringing yourself up to finish the level. This next level has one very specific solution. It involves a lot of door jamming. It involves um, some very uh, precise cube manipulation. So you wanna make sure you kind of follow along exactly. There's a lot of steps here to explain every single one, one by one. So we're just gonna kind of work through the puzzle together here. Again, if it's too fast for you, feel free to slow down the video to 75% and uh, you should be good to go, uh, pretty much wrapping up the game on the next level. All right, pretty much the final level of the game. There's one very specific solution. Go inside of the room and pull all 10 of the cubes off of the pillars. What we need to do is basically connect five pillars. And the ones we wanna connect are all on the right-hand side of this area. You'll notice that near the middle, there's an L shape. We wanna connect all three of the pillars in this L shape. Continuing a little deeper into the room, but also on the right, You'll notice another L shape. We want to connect the two far pillars of this L shape. We now have zero cubes and can exit this area. We can disconnect the elevator and connect it back up to bring us to the top. Across from where the elevator is, we can find four cubes to connect the circuit, which will basically bring us to the end of the level. Thank you guys so much for watching. You should have your 1000 gamer score now. The only thing you'll have left is a level under 10 seconds, which the final level, you just walk forward. You'll see that happening on screen right now. 
The only other thing you might be missing is an achievement or trophy for dying, so just walk off the map if you don't have that. You might have to idle in a level for three minutes. Feel free to do that now. And uh, you should be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. A special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. There are a couple of changes coming to Patreon. I'll announce them on that page, www.patreon.com slash Maca91productions. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, and I hope to see you guys soon with some more videos. Take it easy. Special thanks to Double O as well on Patreon, and I'll see you soon. Peace.